Okay, this is the um, long-awaited, long overdue um, part four of the um, Husqvarna CR390 project, restoration, West End mod, whatever you want to call it, but anyway, um, it's about 98% done. Um, it runs, I've actually ridden it for a short distance, and uh, all is good. So yeah, this is this is pretty much how we've, what we've ended up with. Um, again, that's uh, <coughs> it's uh, it was a very original, clean CR three hundred and ninety. Um, it's got the two frame tubes underneath, and uh, this bike um, actually has a um, a compliance tag too. So. Uh, quite an interesting bike, um, but yeah, again, very original in a lot of aspects. But I've um, upgraded and and um, revised some of it. Um, yeah, I've, that's a that's a large. I think that's a auto tank. It's a bigger capacity. Um, that's the original seat. Um, original rear plastics. Um, that this um, frame hoop. Uh, someone has made that actually I think it's out of a little little bike shop in Swansea where it uh, once come from and as you can see it's a a plug-in type fit and uh, yeah I've gone with a 18 inch back wheel um, and uh, the wheels I think are off a 84 model bike uh, the front has the twin leading shoe um, it does have the, the 40 mil fork as well, um, which is um, which has been gone through by Promoto with um, springs and valves and such. So um, the suspension should be okay. The uh, the Olins are fresh, um, single spring. It doesn't have the dual rate spring. Um, so yeah, they're fresh braided lines, um, reservoir. So, yeah, fresh tyres, tubes, bearings, chain sprockets, 53, 13, it's running, um, yep, yeah, original pipe, um, original CR390 pipe, um, very, very clean pipe, um, original condition, original patina paint, um, yeah, original bore, um, it does have Boyston reeds in it. Uh, it's got a 38 PKW air striker on it, a, a genuine one off a of Gas Gas 300. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, that's all good. Um, what else can I say? Um, yeah, it's got a, I've done an O ring conversion on it. Um, basically, it didn't have an O rings. <clears throat> originally so what happens is that these um these rollers in here i had to um the rollers I had to remake um, wider um to accommodate the o-ring chain um, um believe it or not that is the original chain roller um off the bike from you like i said this bike's been sitting around for a long time and not ridden as as the oxidization and stuff but um, <clears throat> yeah, it's a it's a beautiful thing. Um, yeah, front guard's new. It's the um, I think the R RTR plastics. Um, that's my version. I do have the original headlight, but that's my version um, of the original headlight. I, I'd much rather put the original item away um, one day if I want to do a complete and insane resto on this thing i've got the original parts with the original clamps but this is my version of um of what it should look like these are just i think i got these off ebay they're um some sort of bobber headlight bracket i've just made these um inside i've, I've made a bit of a a cable slide uh, yeah, cable slide just here for the front brake. Um, that's an original CEV switch. 
um, for the headlights. So, yep. Yeah. Um, but this thing, I have put fat bars on it um, and the, uh, the, the taller steering this handlebar clamp and all that sort of stuff so it just suits me to ride better um, domino grips all the original Magura, Magura type controls um, tried to keep this thing as close to original as possible with everything I've done um, yeah twin leading twin leading front brakes uh, like I said um, fresh tyres, tubes, bearings um, yeah, there's the, there's the engine, <coughs> uh, compliance plate, um, yeah, like I said, original seat, um, that's the original CR silencer, um, this was, um, basically, it, it's pretty much got a full, when I bought the bike, it had pretty much a full WR kit with it, so I've got a lot of duplicated parts, I've got the, the bigger silencer and and, and various other bits and pieces so pretty much I've, I've got the CR tank um, and everything so I could turn this straight back into the, the CR version of this bike and um, or I could just keep it as this sort of hybrid bastardized CR WR type thing which I'd probably rather prefer with the lights and stuff like that and the, the bigger tank for a little bit more um, distance but yeah um, Late model flat side carburetor on it should make it run a little bit cleaner. Um, <coughs> so yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. I um, I did put a uh, a new a new ignition in this thing. It's a the vape ignition or the um, dyno power type ignition. And um, anyway, I bought it second hand off eBay and it. it the bike does run, um, which is great, but it appears that the, the stator um, <clears throat> that runs the lights isn't um, functioning. So I've just now had a chance to test that that it's running. But what I've also done in the meanwhile, um, that is a um, regulator rectifier, full wave type thing. And um, basically it sits in under the, 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 the clamps there on its own bracket. Um, with all this other stuff, just minimalistic type um, setup. But <clears throat> this thing, uh, what I've done, I've actually put a capacitor under the seat and a diode. So what will happen is when I do get a, a stator that actually works, this thing, um, yeah, there's a capacitor under there. Um, I will run the LED right. I will get the LED lights to run, but it's 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 a case of um, fussing around with the stator. But that's not going to happen today because I'm just happy that it actually runs and it runs quite nice, very loud. Um, but yeah, air filter's got to go in bits and pieces. But yeah, it's uh, I had no intention to um, make this thing some sort of pristine, um, beautiful resto type bike this bike's going to be ridden um it's going to be ridden a fair bit um god knows what some vinduros and bits and pieces a bit of a blast in the bush here and there but um yeah treat it with plenty of respect but um that's pretty much the end result of um a lot of mucking about so yeah so once i get the lights to work um i may put some rec rego on it and stuff like that just to um, some blinkers and a few other horn bits and pieces get it um, do some rec rego on it or vintage rego even I suppose then it's that old it's an 80 bike what are we talking 21 so it's 41 years old so yeah so um, that's um, that's where it stands at the moment um, I might actually have an attempt to start it as I did start it before it's been sitting for a little while it should have cooled off but Anyway, I'll um, I'll give it a start. So I um, I did have a motor plate in it, and um, it had an incredibly weak spark, and it was just tedious to, to start. Um, you know, I I'm old, and my legs are old, and 
I need something that starts a bit easier than, uh, you know, I'm not interested in 20 kicks. Um, if I can get this thing fired up in a couple, I'm more than happy. So, yeah, so that seems to be the case now. Nice strong spark out of the um, vape ignition. And, um, yeah, so it's all good. So a bit of luck, it'll run a bit cleaner on the flat slide. Um, I do have a Macuni there that I'll, I'll tinker with in the, in the future, but uh, for the moment, um, it's a running bike. And, uh, yeah, I've been waiting a long time to ride it, so I will give it a couple of rides, and then I'll just um, fuss and make it, um, make it perfect over the course of time. So I'll, I'll give this a... I'll make a, an attempt to give this a kick and we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, you can only try. I can put my shoe on so it doesn't kick my foot off. But anyway, it does run. Happy days. So yeah, more than happy with that. So should be interesting when I get this in the dirt and all the rest of it, see how the suspension works and you know fuss over the brakes and you know pray that they um, pull this thing up because um, these things are quick. Um, yeah, very quick. I had a 4:30 in the day and um, I dare say this probably wouldn't be. Um, it'd be pretty much the equal of the 430 and it was a rocket ship so I dare say this being a CR um, it's probably going to be pretty much the same so anyway so I'll leave it for that and um, I'll uh, possibly do another video when I um, I do this ignition thing and uh, swap the stator over and um, get the lights to run um, like I said the LED lights with a capacitor and stuff like that to stop the flicker so the light should be pretty pretty impressive um, you know if we go too far and we have to come back in the in the twilight or the, the dark um, yeah I've got some reasonable lights to um, get back to the car with anyway that'll do for today um, yeah finally it runs happy days cheers <laughs>